ओके इंट्रोडक्शन टू रोबोटिक्स और इंट्रोडक्शन टू रोबोट सो बेसिकली डेफिनेशन ऑफ रोबोट एज पर दी आई एस ओ एंड आई एफ आर सो रोबोट इज द सॉफ्टवेयर कंट्रोल मैकेनिकल डिवाइस ओके रोबोट इज द सॉफ्टवेयर कंट्रोल मैकेनिकल डिवाइस दैट यूजेस सेंसर्स और दैट यूजेस पेरिफेरल डिवाइसेस टू गाइड वन और मोर इंडिफेक्टर थ्रू प्रोग्राम मैटर सो अनादर डेफिनेशन इज दैट robot refers to an automated multifunctional manipulator that works by energy to perform various task decided by the operator or decided by the programmer uh, then another definition is that robotics okay so robotics is the science of designing and building robot suitable for real life application in automated manufacturing and non manufacturing environment and these are the four laws of the robotics okay so zeroth law was added later on so all laws are related with the humanity okay human human injury and human health okay so zeroth law was added later on so robot uh, so zeroth law state that a robot must not injure humanity okay a robot must not injure humanity then first law state that a robot must not harm human being okay related to human health a robot must not harm human being then second law state that a robot must obey human being unless it is in conflict and third law okay and third law state that a robot must protect itself from harm unless that is in plan okay so these are the four different laws of the robotics related with the human health okay human safety and robot safety then these are the three functions sensing decision making and performing we already discussed in a previous lecture then jointed arm or four <coughs> or construction of industrial robot it's similar to human hand it consists of four mechanical links and three join okay four mechanical links and three join whole assembly is known as manipulator then basic components these are the seven basic component we already discuss this is the end effector end effector is nothing but hand of robot okay which is directly connected to last joint okay this is mechanical type end effector means uh, with the help of slider crank mechanism you can easily control the motions of arm okay or you can directly actuate all links of the robot with the help of slider crank mechanism so end effector is nothing but hand of robot which is directly connected to last joint then actuator actuator act as a muscles of the robot total payload capacity of robot depends upon actuator okay total payload capacity depends upon selection of actuator there are three types of actuator like hydraulic actuator pneumatic actuator and electric actuator so all types of electric motors dc motor ac motor stepper motor and all kinds of motors act as a electric actuator so you can easily fit any kind of electric motor in each and every joint of the robot for actuating or for manipulating links of the robot uh, then controller so controller receives this signals from the processor and control overall motions of the robot then sensors uh, sensors are used to collect information about status of manipulator and end defector there are different types of sensors like a proximity sensor ir sensor etc uh, then processor processor act as a brain of the robot okay processor act as a brain of the robot so it send signals to control and receive feedback from the controller this is the two important functions of the robot or processor act as a brain of the robot which calculates motion of the joint 
my voice is audible hello voice is audible omkar tejas hello yes sir okay yes sir uh, then uh, then next basic component is the software so there are three different groups of software okay so first group is the operating system software robotic software and application programmer software these are the three different groups of the software so first group operating system softwares are generally used for operating the computer or operating the computer system involved in robotics and uh, then second robotic software so robotic software are generally used for operating robots for example python robotics then robominds and robologic these are the three softwares used for the operation of robot and third type application programmer software used for application of peripheral devices okay all are familiar with concept of peripheral devices what are the different peripheral devices i guess anyone peripheral devices of robot kutle kutle at हेलो कौन संग पेरिफेरल डिवाइसेस सो थर्ड टाइप ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर यूज फॉर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ पेरिफेरल डिवाइसेस सेंसर्स एक्चुएटर्स एंड एंड इफेक्टर्स दीज आर पेरिफेरल डिवाइसेस ऑफ रोबोट देन नेक्स्ट इज द डिग्रीज ऑफ फ्रीडम वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस वॉट आर दिक्स डिग्रीज ऑफ फ्रीडम ओके so degrees of freedom is the one of the variable which is required to define motion of a body in a space okay so each and every joint of the robot having one degrees of freedom okay and these are the six degrees of freedom three degrees of freedom for the arm and three degrees of freedom for the wrist okay vertical traverse then radial traverse rotational traverse these are the three degrees of freedom for the arm and three degrees of freedom for the wrist wrist pitch wrist yaw and wrist row then robot classification this is very important point okay classification of robot according to various kind so first is the drive technology okay so according to drive technology there are three types of robots electric drive robots hydraulic drive robots and pneumatic drive robots okay electric drive robot hydraulic drive robots and pneumatic drive robots then second classification point according to work envelope generated by robot hand or robot wrist in three dimensional space so work envelope it simply maximum space within which robot hand can manipulate easily theek hai work envelope maji asi space ki robot cha jo last end hai hand cha last end hai tichi maximum reach hone chahiye okay maximum kut parent reach hote hai ta sagla area manje jala work envelope okay so there are five different types of the robot according to work envelope generated by hand so first point is the cartesian or first configuration is the cartesian coordinate robot okay then second one is the cylindrical coordinate robot and third spherical coordinate robot scalar robot and articulated robot these are the five types of robot according to work and one up generated by robot hand and last classification point motion control methods okay so these are the two different motion control methods of the robot point to point control method and continuous path motion method okay so uh, these are the different classification point of the robot according to drive technology according to work envelope and according to motion control methods so first drive technology so there are three different uh, tip, uh, different drives electric drive hydraulic drive and pneumatic drive so one of the most fundamental classification scheme is based on the sources of power used to drive the joints of the robot okay so two most popular drive technologies are electric and hydraulic okay these are the basic 
ड्राइव टेक्नोलॉजीज और मैक्सिमम यूज ड्राइव टेक्नोलॉजी इलेक्ट्रिक ड्राइव एंड हाइड्रोलिक ड्राइव देन डिफरेंट ज्वाइंट रिवॉल्यूट ज्वाइंट डिनोट बाय कैपिटल लेटर आर सो रिवॉल्यूट ज्वाइंट इज द रोटरी ज्वाइंट एंड प्रिजमेटिक ज्वाइंट प्रिजमेटिक ज्वाइंट मीन्स लिनियर ज्वाइंट सो प्रिजमेटिक ज्वाइंट डिनोट बाय कैपिटल लेटर पी दिस इज द सिम्बॉलिकल और alphabetical notation and symbolical notation okay so revolute joint gives rotary motion about an axis so this is the symbol of revolute joint and this is the symbol of prismatic joint so prismatic joint gives linear motion along an axis okay so prismatic joint sim symbolic this is the symbolical notation okay and capital letter p indicates prismatic joint so motion configuration you can directly describe all motion configuration of this five robots with the help of r and p notations then cartesian coordinate robot okay cartesian coordinate robot so this is the first kind of robot according to work envelope generated by robot hand or work envelope generated by robot wrist आवाज येतोय हॅलो ओंकार हॅलो ओके गुड सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ रोबोट अकॉर्डिंग टू वर्क एन वलब जनरेटेड बाय रोबोट रिस्ट सो ऑल आर फॅमिलियर विथ कन्स्ट्रक्शन ऑफ रोबोट ओके और कन्स्ट्रक्शन ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल रोबोट इट कन्सिस्ट ऑफ फोर मेकॅनिकल लिंक्स अँड थ्री जॉइंट सो दिस फिगर शोज कार्टेशन कॉर्डिनेट रोबोट this is the base of robot okay base act as a foundation of robot okay link number first link number second link number third and link number fourth these are the four okay means base upper arm forearm and end effector these are the four different similar to human hand okay it is combination of four mechanical links and three joint similar to human hand so uh, it consists of three major axis okay or three major joints shoulder joint elbow joint and wrist joint so all joints of cartesian coordinate robot having prismatic motion okay prismatic means linear motion that's why resulting notation of cartesian coordinate robot is ppp okay first p for the prismatic joint okay shoulder prismatic joint second p for elbow prismatic okay and third for wrist prismatic so resulting notation of cartesian coordinate robot is triple p okay prismatic 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 means linear joint linear joint and linear joint okay so this is the first shoulder prismatic motion okay or linear motion in the direction of x okay in the direction of z and in the direction of y okay so overall work and of enough generated by cartesian coordinate robot okay so first motion upward and downward motion okay first motion is the upward and downward motion linear then second back and forth motion okay and inward and outward motion so overall work envelope generated by such type of robot or work volume generated by cartesian coordinate robot is a rectangular box okay this question asked for mcq what is the uh, work volume or work envelope of cartesian coordinate robot okay so simply rectangular box uh, then second type cylindrical coordinate robot okay so in case of cartesian coordinate or in case of previous coordinate robots or resulting notation is ppp okay prismatic 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 so in case of cylindrical coordinate robot first joint of cartesian robot is replaced by revolute joint okay or replaced by prismatic to revolute or linear to rotary okay so resulting notation is that r p p okay r for rotary motion okay rotary joint 
ऑफ शोल्डर देन पी प्रिजमेटिक जॉइंट ऑफ एल्बो एंड थर्ड पी प्रिजमेटिक जॉइंट ऑफ एंड इफेक्टर सो फर्स्ट मोशन इज द रोटरी मोशन अबाउट वर्टिकल एक्सिस ओके फर्स्ट मोशन इज द रोटरी मोशन ऑफ अ बेस अबाउट वर्टिकल एक्सिस दैट्स वाई रोटरी मोशन आर ओके सो वर्क एनवलप और वर्क वॉल्यूम जनरेटेड बाय सिलिंड्रिकल कॉन्फिगरेशन रोबोट इज सिंपली सिलेंडर असं का होत आहे कारण हा जो आर्म आहे तो व्हर्टिकल ऍक्सिस भोवती पहिल्या मोशन मध्ये रोटरी फिरतो ठीक आहे रोटरी फिरतो दुसऱ्या मोशन मध्ये प्रिझमॅटिक म्हणजे लिनियर ओके अपवर्ड अँड डाऊनवर्ड लिनियर अँड बॅक अँड फोर्थ और इनवर्ड अँड आउटवर्ड फॉर थर्ड लोकेशन ओव्हरऑल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ऑल व्हॉल्युम्स और वर्क व्हॉल्युम इज सिंपली सिलेंडर इथे दाखवलं बघा सिलेंड्रिकल वर्क व्हॉल्युम एकदम सिंपल आहे फक्त एकदा व्हिडिओ बघितल्यानंतर तुमच्या लक्षात येईल मी पुढे एक व्हिडिओ टाकली ती बघा देन थर्ड थर्ड कॉन्फिगरेशन समजत का रे ओंकार ओंकार तेजस हॅलो हा सर ओके ठीक आहे थर्ड पॉइंट इज द स्पेरिकल कॉन्फिग्रेशन रोबो सो इन दॅट सेकंड टाईप ओके सो सेकंड जॉईंट ऑफ सिलेंड्रिकल कॉर्डिनेट रोबोट इज रिप्लेस बाय रिवल्यूट जॉईंट ठीक आहे तर सिलेंड्रिकल कॉर्डिनेट रोबोट मध्ये सेकंड जॉईंट होता तो प्रिझमॅटिक जॉईंट होता ओके सेकंड जॉईंट ऑफ सिलेंड्रिकल रोबोट इज रिप्लेस बाय रिवल्यूट जॉईंट सो रिझल्टिंग नोटेशन और रिझल्टिंग मोशन कॉन्फिग्रेशन इज आर आर पी ठीक आहे म्हणजेच काय केलंय इथला जो प्रिझमॅटिक जॉईंट होता तो काय केलाय त्यांनी रिप्लेस केलाय ठीक आहे इथला जो जॉईंट होता तो रिप्लेस केलाय आणि कुठला जॉईंट घेतलाय तिथं रिवल्यूट जॉईंट सो रिझल्टिंग नोटेशन इज आर 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 ओके सो वर्क व्हॉल्युम जनरेटेड बाय सच टाइप ऑफ रोबोट इज सिंपली स्पियर ओके सो इन केस ऑफ स्पेरिकल कॉर्डिनेट रोबोट इफ दि सेकंड जॉईंट ऑफ सिलेंड्रिकल कॉर्डिनेट रोबोट रिप्लेस विथ रिवल्यूट जॉईंट so that the configuration is r r p okay so here the first revolute joint okay here the first revolute joint rotates the arm about vertical axis okay pehli ji rotation ahe ti kay rotate the arm about vertical axis similar to cylindrical coordinate robot okay then second uh, while the second revolute joint okay second revolute joint pitches upward and downward rotation okay second revolute joint pitches the arm up and down okay pitches the arm up and down okay means up and down rotation for second and third prismatic joint okay the prismatic joint moves the wrist radially in and out okay radially in and out ha jo wrist ahe kiwa ha jo robot cha hand ahe to radially in and out okay theek hai he is on a linear motion दुसरी झाली रोटरी मोशन आणि तिसरी अपवर्ड अँड डाऊनवर्ड मोशन ओके सो ओव्हरऑल वर्क व्हॉल्युम ऑफ सच टाइप ऑफ रोबोट स्पेरिकल रोबोट इज सिंपली स्पियर ठीक आहे म्हणजे हा रोबोट इकडे असा फिरतोय पहिली रोटेशन कुठली आहे रोटेशन अबाउट पोलिटिकल ऍक्सिस ऍट अँड एंगल थीटा दुसरी अपवर्ड अँड डाऊनवर्ड रोटेशन ओके ऍट अँड एंगल थीटा आणि थर्ड मोशन इनवर्ड अँड आउटवर्ड लिनियर मोशन और प्रिझमॅटिक मोशन so work volume or work envelope generated by this robot is the volume between two spheres the next jointed arm robot okay jointed arm robot this is the figure of jointed arm robot so last joint okay last joint of the spherical coordinate robot is replaced by revolute joint okay last joint of the spherical robot is replaced by revolute joint so resulting notation is r r r theek hai manje spherical coordinate madhe kya hota r r p to to prismatic joint parat replace karun rotary joint takle okay so in case of jointed arm robot or articulated robot we can directly says that the articulated robot is the exactly opposite robot okay exactly opposite to the cartesian coordinate robot because cartesian coordinate robot having resulting configuration p p p means all joints of the cartesian coordinate robot having prismatic joint in case of articulated robot all joints of the articulated robot having rotary joint that's why both are the opposite robots 
jointed arm robot and cartesian coordinate robot so this produces an articulated coordinate robot okay so in case of articulated robot or jointed arm robot when the last joint or last prismatic joint replaced by the revolute okay and uh, it so, so there are three rotary joints or three vertical uh, horizontal rotary joint so first rotary and articulated robot is the opposite to cartesian coordinate robot okay in sense that all three of major axis all are revolute rather than the prismatic so here the first revolute joint okay first revolute joint swing the robot back and forth okay swing the robot back and forth okay so this is the first joint okay ha joint axis ahe kay karto to robot swing the robot back and forth then second second joint pitches the arm up and down okay itla kay karto ya arm cha pitching karto pura ani maga jasa jcb cha tumhi construction baghitla asel या टाइप चे हॉरिजेंटल जॉइंट्स जॉइंट ठीक है पिचिंग जी ही क्या बेस है अपर आर्म फोर आर्म एंड एंड इफेक्टर ही जी फोर आर्म है पिचिंग अपवर्ड एंड डाउनवर्ड पिचिंग दिस इज सेकंड रोटरी मोशन एंड थर्ड पिचिंग ऑफ रोबोट हैंड अबाउट इट्स एक्सिस और रिस्ट एक्सेस सो दीज आर दी थ्री रोटरी मोशन दैट्स वाई रिजल्टिंग कॉन्फिग्रेशन इज आर 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 ओके ऑल जॉइंट्स आर दी रोटरी जॉइंट rotary joint of uh, shoulder rotary joint of elbow and rotary joint of wrist that's why resulting configuration rotary 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 r r r okay r r r so work envelope or work volume generated by articulated robot is simply sphere theek hai mujhe ya articulated robot cha case mane sutta jo work volume asto to sphere asto theek hai kalala जॉइंटेड आर्म रोबोट हेलो हेलो कल का यस नो टाइप कर कमेंट बॉक्स मध्य काल नसेल तो परत संग गुड सुयश गुड ओंकार गुड गुड कुणाल गुड गुड ओके ठीक है बारा पैकी समझ ठीक है आता वीडियो बगित तुम्हारे लगे लक्षा दे वॉट इज एक्जैक्टली कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ जॉइंटेड आर्म रोबोट ओके और एक्जैक्टली कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ सिलिंड्रिकल कॉर्डिनेट रोबोट देन लास्ट रोबोट इज दैरा रोबोट ओके स्कैरा स्टैंड फॉर सिलेक्टिव कंपाइल एसेंबली रोबोट ओके सिलेक्टिव कंपाइल एसेंबली रोबोट आर एस फॉर सिलेक्टिव सी फॉर कंपाइल ए फॉर एसेंबली आर फॉर रोबोटिक एंड ए फॉर आर ओके सो सिलेक्टिव कंपाइल एसेंबली रोबोटिक आर सो स्कैरा रोबोट जनरली यूज फॉर एसेंबली पर्पज ओके फॉर एसेंबली एप्लीकेशन सो स्कैरा रोबोट शोल्डर एंड एल्बो जॉइंट रोटेशन एक्सेस इज वर्टिकल ठीक है आतापर्यत जेवे अपन रोबोट बगित सगे जॉइंट एक्सेस होते ठीक है केस मे बच्चे जॉइंटेड आम रोबोट केस मे बिथला बेच जॉइंट एक्सेस कस है हॉरिजेंटल इतना हेच जॉइंट एक्सेस कस है हॉरिजेंटल हा तीसरा पन कसा है हॉरिजेंटल ठीक है परंतु तुम्हें जो स्कैरा रोबोट बगित स्कैरा रोबोट जो कंस्ट्रक्शन बगित इतना जो जॉइंट एक्सेस है ठीक है हा बेस अपर आर ठीक है हा दो मधा जो जॉइंट है पहला कुछ जॉइंट है शोल्डर जॉइंट जो एक्सिस है जॉइंट एक्सिस वर्टिकल ठीक है हेच दुसरा चाहिए जॉइंट एक्सिस वर्टिकल ठीक है तीसरा चाहिए जॉइंट एक्सिस है वर्टिकल ठीक है सो स्कैरा रोबोट शोल्डर एंड एल्बो जॉइंट रोटेशन एक्सिस आर वर्टिकल सो दिस रोबोट ऑल्सो हैविंग टू रिवॉल्यूट जॉइंट एंड वन प्रिजमेटिक जॉइंट रिवॉल्यूट जॉइंट रिवॉल्यूट जॉइंट एंड प्रिजमेटिक जॉइंट Hence, resulting configuration or resulting notation is RRP. Okay, first rotary, second rotary, and third prismatic. RRP and resulting configuration is RRP, rotary, rotary, and prismatic. So this robot also having two revolute joint and one prismatic joint. The configuration is RRP. 
okay so the first revolute joint okay this first revolute joint rotates the arm back and forth okay rotates the arm back and forth about vertical axis or about base axis the second revolute joint this is the second revolute joint second revolute joint swing the forearm okay swing forearm back and forth about vertical axis and this third prismatic joint this is the first is your wrist hai the up and down slide karne ka motion man so resulting notation is rotary rotary prismatic that's why rrp theek hai he samajh le kaisa la resulting configuration rrp first rotary second rotary and third prismatic manje linear that's why rrp theek hai ani sagat matlab kya scarrow scarrow ko check case madhe ha assembly sathi ka use kela jato mi magcha lecture madhe sangitle karan जॉइंट सक्सेस वर्टिकल रिपीटेबिलिटी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स है ठीक है कि फास्ट साइकल टाइम पटकन तो रिपीट होते वर्टिकल स्कैर रोबोट यूज करते वर्क वॉल्यूम और वर्क एंड वन ऑफ स्कैर रोबोट इज सीम्पली सिलेंडर ओके मीन्स स्कैर रोबोट इट इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ आर्टिक्युलेटेड रोबोट एंड सिलेंड्रिकल रोबोट ओके एंड वर्क वॉल्यूम इज दिलेंडर सो देर आर डिफरंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ स्कैर रोबोट ओके दिस इज दन इमेज ऑफ स्कैर रोबोट देर आर डिफरंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ स्कैर रोबोट ओके सो स्कैर रोबोट हैविंग लार्ज वर्क स्पेस ओके स्कैर रोबोट हैविंग फास्ट साइकल टाइम एक्सलंट रिपीटेबिलिटी देन good payload capacity and sophisticated motion control these are the different characteristics of scara robot and application of scara robot scara robot generally used for pick and place work okay pick the object from one location and place to another location then important application is the assembly operation theek hai je assembly operation sathi use hoto mcq madhe pan ha question vichale jate theek hai ek paas configuration che tumhala note dile jate choose the uh, proper robot configuration for assembly operation theek hai to tumcha scara he lakshat thewa scara assembly operation handling machine tool okay handling machine tool this is the another application and application of packaging and seal out these are the different four applications of scara robot theek hai some of the concept scara robot हेलो स्कैर रोबोट ची कन्सेप्ट समझ ली का सदाम हेलो यस सर ओके ठीक है खूब महत्व क्वेश्चन है तुम्हें जर प्रीवियस सात क्वेश्चन पेपर घ एक्सपीरियंस स्कैर रोबोट विथ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ठीक है आता एक वीडियो दाखो तो कॉन्फिग्रेशन सा हा वीडियो बगित तुम्हारे लगे लक्ष्य ठीक है कॉन्फिग्रेशन कसे कसे है main types of robotic arm geometry rectangular cylindrical spherical and jointed spherical ekunta rumal awaz yeto garas ka of robotic arm geometry rectangular cylindrical spherical and jointed spherical robots with rectangular arm geometry 
whose Cartesian coordinates and move linearly along each of the X, Y, and Z axes. This type of movement is also called 3P geometry, where the P stands for prismatic or linear motion. This type of geometry is most commonly used with pick and place for large overhead mounted robots. Rectangular arm geometry robots can only move linearly in each direction. An overhead crane robot is a good example of this type of motion. It can move forward and backward, left and right, and up and down. Robotic arms that use Cartesian coordinate geometry generate a rectangular work envelope. Rectangular robotic arms have the simplest geometry and control system and are typically used in material handling operations. Cylindrical arm geometry robots move linearly in two directions and rotate in one other. Since this type of robotic arm moves in two separate prismatic or linear directions and rotates in one direction, it's given the designation of R2P, where the R stands for rotation. This type of robotic arm is most often used in machine tending, assembly, material handling, and palletizing operations. Robotic arms with cylindrical geometry move linearly in two directions. Vertical linear motion is called stroke. Horizontal linear motion is called reach, and rotational motion is called swing. Cylindrical geometry robots have a cylindrical work envelope. The advantages of this type of work envelope is a robotic arm reach that is deep at both the top and bottom of the stroke. Additionally, the robot structure allows for quick movements with high repeatability, a smaller use of floor space, and a larger payload capacity due to structural rigidity. Spherical arm geometry robots can rotate in two directions and move linearly in one, and thus are given the designation of 2RP. The robot has base rotation, shoulder rotation, and prismatic or linear motion at the arm. This type of robotic arm is most often used in machine tending, material handling, welding, painting, coating, and assembly tasks. Robotic arms with spherical geometry have rotational movement in two directions, rotational movement at the base and rotational movement at the shoulder. Spherical arm geometry robots also have linear motion in one direction, typically the reach of the arm. Spherical arm geometry robots have a mostly spherical work envelope at their outer reach, but are limited by the linear reach of the arm and the rotation of the shoulder joint. The shape of the robot's inner work envelope is almost conical and does not become a sphere until the arm extends. Spherical arm geometry robots typically have a very long reach and have proven their performance in industrial applications. However, their high cost, large use of floor space, and lack of flexibility compared to jointed spherical arm robots make it hard to justify in most industrial applications. Jointed spherical arm geometry robots have rotation in three directions, use revolute coordinates, and are given the designation of 3R. They are one of the most popular types of robotic arms and most accurately mimic the movement of the human arm. Robotic arms with jointed spherical or articulated geometry rotate on at least three axes. Left and right movements are provided by rotation at the base. Horizontal movement is provided by rotation at the shoulder. And vertical movement is provided by rotation at the elbow. Except for very close to the body, 
The work envelope of a jointed spherical robotic arm is almost entirely spherical. The advantages of this type of work envelope is a robotic arm with very deep reach, minimal floor space use, and high positioning mobility of the tool in arm. Due to its mechanical complexity and the complexity of its controller, this robotic arm typically comes with a higher hardware cost and requires skilled technicians.